Hey guys, so today we're checking out the Pedal Commander Bluetooth throttle controller fitting all 2005 and newer Toyota Tacomas. So this is going to be a great option for the truck owner who's looking to make their truck a little more responsive off the line with a very user-friendly device. This is going to have up to 36 Bluetooth controlled settings, giving you the ability to really fine-tune your throttle response. Now in the 05 to newer Toyota Tacomas, you will have an electronic throttle body. So essentially what happens when your foot hits the pedal is that it sends a certain amount of voltage to your ECU and your ECU tells it your throttle body to open. Now in that time there is a small delay and what this pedal commander is going to do is send more voltage depending on what mode you are in and get rid of a lot of that delay. This pedal commander is going to come with four major settings being eco, sport, sport plus and even a city mode and in those four settings you will have up to nine minor settings which you will be able to adjust and fine tune your throttle response. Now I would like to mention that this is not going to give you any performance gains. This is strictly going to modify your throttle response. So if you are looking for any horsepower and torque gains, I would take a look at some tuner options. However, if you're just looking to get some more response out of your pedal, this is going to be a great choice. Now with all of that being said, this is going to be roughly $300, putting this at a very average price point for a throttle controller. Now in comparison to some other options, this does have a one up with the Bluetooth compatibility and the 36 adjustable settings. Other options on the page may not come with that Bluetooth compatibility and they may not come with all 36 settings that this does. Not to mention this will leave your OBD2 port open and will be compatible with other tuners or devices that go into your OBD2 which some other options may not have that choice. This is strictly going to plug into your throttle pedal wiring harness making it very easy to install as well and it even comes with a two-year warranty warranty for the product itself so you can keep a little bit of peace in mind. As far as install goes, this is going to be incredibly easy. Like I said, it just plugs in. It is a completely plug and play device, so it will take you only 15 minutes with no hand tools at all. So speaking of that install, let's jump into that now. What we can do first is drop our wires down behind our steering wheel and our dash here. And these will drop on the other side. This is just gonna make sure that our wiring is as clean as possible for when we mount up our actual controller. Then we can unplug the wiring harness on top of our throttle pedal. Next, we can unplug that wiring harness on top of our throttle pedal. Just press down and pull up. Next, we can take the male side of our pedal commander harness and plug that into our wiring harness. Make sure you hear a click. And then we can plug the other side into the top of our throttle pedal. Once that's plugged in, we can clean up some of this wiring and mount up our controller. What we can do next is mount up our controller, so you will get a piece of Velcro. I pulled the adhesive cover back on each side. I also just kept the Velcro connected so we can make sure that everything lines up. Peel this off. And then we can place this wherever you'd like. I'm just going to put it right under our steering wheel so it's easily accessible. Press for a couple of seconds. And then you should be all set to go. You also get some zip ties in the kit, so you wanna make sure that any excess wiring is up and out of the way. And once that's taken care of, you can use your pedal commander. So once you plug this into your truck and your truck is on, it will not illuminate right away and it will be in the stock settings. So once you turn it on by pressing the power button, you'll automatically be put in city mode. Now to move to sport or sport plus, you can just quickly press that power mode and you will be able to adjust it up or down and it will illuminate red or green to let you know which minor setting that you're in. Now, if you'd like to go into eco mode and save a little bit of fuel, you will be able to hold down that power button and you still can adjust in the eco mode as well. If you want to return to the stock setting, all you have to do is press the 
uh, power button one more time. And if you'd like to use the app, you can download that and it will have all of the same settings that you see here on your phone. So that's gonna wrap it up for my review and install. Make sure you like and subscribe and for more videos and products like this, always keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.